We are six weeks out from the biggest show of them all, WrestleMania. And Elimination Chamber this weekend has set us up perfectly. I'm TJ Bradley, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. We got Lana coming out here to challenge for a world title. She will go against Billy Kay for the Hardcore Championship momentarily. And beyond that, we will see Beth Phoenix tonight in the main event take on Bianca Belair of D-Generation X. We will also see Stacy Keebler and Tori Wilson tied up. Two old foes there who have both found their way into this LCW universe. But folks, before we get going here, let me reflect on what was an extremely good pay-per-view this weekend in Elimination Chamber. Stephanie McMahon did the business. She well and truly took out the trash and put a stop to Rhea Ripley's reign of terror. And I don't think we're going to have any problems with Miss Ripley for some time here in the LCW universe, which gives us a clear run to WrestleMania. Not only that, but the Queen, Charlotte Flair, got her revenge on Shayna Baszler. And she was in a sadistic mood at the weekend. She is focused. She's got her vengeance. And now she is coming for the WWE Champion China. And beyond that, in both chamber matches, we saw titles change hands. My God, there was so much going on over the weekend. And will we see another title change hands here? The referee gets Monday Night Raw underway. Will the challenger, Lana, be able to take the hardcore title from Billy Kay? This belt was not defended at the weekend, but it is most certainly on the line here. Billy Kay, somewhat of a surprise hardcore champion, has really done well as the champion. She has defended against all sorts of people. She even beat Rhea Ripley, which is a hell of a performance. Now she's in there with Lana though, a different prospect altogether. And look at these shots going in. Lana struggling here so far to cope with Billy Kay's offense. And Billy avoids that shot from Lana. The crowd enjoying this. These two are exchanging good blows, both trying to get the upper hand here. Lana takes Billy down. And now she's heading. Out of the ring, what is she going for? Oh, she's pulling a ladder out from under the ring. This ain't a ladder match, folks, but there is nothing to stop her using it. Remember, hardcore rules mean absolutely anything goes. And what an insecurity from Billy Kay. Lana, though, back at her. Big shots on a prone Billy and a stomp as well. Billy going for a big slam right next to that ladder and she hooks a leg. Lana kicks out before the count of three. She's still in this and that ladder is yet to be used. But Billy is setting the challenger up for something big here. Oh, she misses her kick though and that gives Lana a way back into this. Hang on a minute though. A DDT right on that ladder and Lana is out of it and no she's back to her feet she is running on pure adrenaline here Billy with a snap suplex Billy putting a boot in Lana's face and now working her over she is heavily in the ascendancy here but Lana is still fighting she's struggling she would love to be a champion in this LCW universe and oh boy, she dunks Billy. She may well get her wish. A leg is hooked. The ref is down. Have we got a new champion? No, Billy Kay kicks out. She is loving being a hardcore champion. She is not ready to give up that right just yet. Lana though, going for this once again. And oh boy, Billy Kay may be in trouble here. Oh, she just kicks out, and Lana can't believe it. She is really putting on a show for the fans here tonight. So 
sends Billy Kay over the top rope. And then a drop kick sends her to the floor. Lana hidden out there as well. This can go anywhere, remember? But Lana thinks better of it and back into the ring. She's going back to the ladder. And just props it up in the corner, maybe just doing a bit of housekeeping there. Telling Billy to get back into the ring. And Billy is doing that. This has been a fairly straight wrestling match so far. A big boot to the face. And Lana, has she missed her opportunity? Has Billy got the win? No. Lana kicks out at the count of two and a half. Well, that was very, very close. But Lana, she is still in this. Billy, what has she got to put away the challenger? She is telling Lana to get to her feet. Billy taking things a little bit slow here. And here comes Lana. But Billy fighting back. Oh, and then Lana with a kick to the midsection. And whipping Billy over the top rope and to the outside again. Both of these women fighting fairly cautious fights, if you ask me. This is not the hardcore division we are used to seeing. And once again, Lorna sends Billy over the top rope. But this time, the champion gets back at the challenger. Lorna with a headlock takeover. Stretching the neck of Billy Kay. But Billy escapes. Now Lana whips Billy into the corner of the ring. Good elbows going in there. Billy manages to reverse that one. Going for another suplex. But Lana manages to counter. And the German suplex takes Billy down. And that ladder is about to come back into play. Maybe not, Lana thinks better of it. Billy avoids the clinch. And instead, sends Lana into the corner. Good kicks there. This is our no, and Lana with a good slap. And oh, wait a minute. Lana has dunked Billy Kay, and she has gone for a cover. And now, we may well have a new champion. We do. Lana is the hardcore champion in the LCW universe. Her first title win here. And after a weekend of shocks, of title changes, we have another to open up Monday Night Raw. Billy Kay will be furious about this. We are well and truly on the road to WrestleMania, but it does not look like the iconic star is going to be going to that event with gold around her waist. Instead, we have Lana, our new hardcore champion. And boy, oh boy, will she have a target on her back between now and WrestleMania. But we gotta leave this here, folks. I've got word that backstage Naomi and Trish are squaring up. These two had problems leading into the Elimination Chamber, and it does not look like they have been settled just yet. This is getting mighty personal here. And I just hope Naomi knows what she's doing. Trish is as experienced as they get. And she will not take kindly to Naomi's tone here. These two will have a chance to settle their differences in the ring next week on Monday Night Raw in tag team action. Trish Stratus and Lita against Naomi and Sasha Banks. 
Out here we have got Tory Wilson awaiting the arrival of Stacy Keebler. Tory, who arrived in this LCW universe on SmackDown last week to take Mandy Rose up on the challenge of a lingerie match. It was the first of that kind in this universe. And we are still waiting to hear whether the fans were approving of this or not. But Mandy is certainly behind the concept. Stacy, on the other hand, returned at the Royal Rumble. She competed at Elimination Chamber this weekend and was not successful in her bid to become the United States Champion. Tonight, she mixes it with an old foe, turned friend, turned foe in Tori Wilson. Which of these two is going to come up smelling of roses here? Tori Wilson straight into the action, takes Stacy down, and a leg drop right across her arm. Now look at this working Stacy over on the floor. This is good technical wrestling here. And I am glad to see that Tori is here in full wrestling attire, rather than the lingerie that she wore on Friday night. Big splash from the top rope and hooks a leg. Stacy Doe kicks out, still early going here. And Stacy was in the elimination chamber for the United States title at the weekend, but she did not put in her best performance. She is looking ring rusty here and may well need a few weeks to get herself up to speed. Oh, look at that, throwing Tori around by her hair. Stacy now looking good in this one. Stomping down on Tori Wilson. Tori, though, is coming back. Big elbows to the gut. Oh, misses her slap. Doesn't miss her kick, though. And then she does get her slap in. And takes Stacy Keebler down. Stacy, who has been away from the ring for quite some time. Now Tori going for another cover. Once again, Stacy kicks out. Tori felt she might have had that one done. Leg drag takedown from Stacy. And a small package. But no, Stacy Keebler kicks out. Tori Wilson making the run in here. He has gone for several covers, none of which have been successful so far. Oh, what an uppercut there from Stacy. And now catches a crossbody and slams Tori to the mat. Stacy hooks a leg. And oh no, it's not over. It was a two and a half count. She's getting there. I would have to say, I think Stacy is still to find her niche in this LCW universe. As I say, she is looking a little ring rusty. This is not the professional wrestling business that she left all those years ago. Drops Tori to the mat there. And I think it may well take her a bit of time to get herself up to speed and to find exactly where she fits in this universe. Going back and fighting Tori Wilson is a great bit of nostalgia, but it is, I'm sure, not the way she needs to go to move forward. Oh, what a DDT from Tori. And this one is going to be over. Oh, Stacy Keebler kicks out at the count of two and three quarters. But Tori is something rock now. And oh boy, the X Factor. This one is surely done this time. Yes, it is. Tori Wilson here has defeated an old foe in Stacy Keebler. We are yet to see what these two are going to do in this universe. But we know one thing for sure Tori Wilson has got a victory over Stacy Keebler here tonight. She looks a lot fresher, a lot fitter, and a lot more hungry, quite honestly. Stacy has got some work to do. She has not exploded into this universe by any means. And this loss will have hurt her. Because Tori is even newer to the LCW universe than she is. Where does Stacy Keebler go from here? And more to the point, 
where does Tori Wilson go? Strong victory here after her defeat to Mandy Rose on Friday night. And she will be hoping to get into title contention before long, I am sure. And boy, oh boy, we got Lana, new hardcore champion, squaring up to the former champ, Billy, backstage. All right, Billy, I can't wait to see the rematch. Oh, but is Lana saying she isn't going to give a rematch? That would be highly unusual. Lana is being very dismissive here of the former champion. Billy is not pleased about this at all, and I'm sure we're going to hear more about it. Oh, wait a minute, Lana attacking Billy from behind. What on earth is she doing here? Suplex, oh my goodness, on that graded floor. And now lifting Billy Kay back to her feet. What on earth is the hardcore champion doing here? Throws Billy into the barricade. And an elbow drop to the back of the head. Oh boy, that was nasty. Lana is a real bad sport here. There's such a thing as being a bad winner just as much as there is a bad loser. Oh, and here comes Peyton Royce, Billy Kay's partner. And she's putting herself between Lana and Billy Kay. And Lana is getting the hell out of here. She's blowing kisses, but she has done some serious damage here. Here comes Charlotte Flair. She looks like she might be making her way up to the ring. Oh, and there's Abaddon, who Charlotte has had problems with in the past. Remember, Charlotte took Shayna Baszler out at Elimination Chamber. These two staring each other down, and Charlotte going on about her business. But we may well hear more on this one. Right now, it is main event time. D-Generation X making their way to the ring. The younger Belair here is going to go in singles action against Beth Phoenix. But unsurprisingly, she has bought back up. We got Raquel Gonzalez accompanying the EST of the WWE. These two are our tag team champions, and neither were involved at Elimination Chamber this weekend. Now we're talking. I am sure, though, they will be asked to defend those belts at WrestleMania. The question is, who will they go against? They have laid waste to the tag team scene here in the LCW universe. We will have to see what general manager Stephanie McMahon has planned for them. But tonight, she has put Bianca Belair in there with Beth Phoenix. On Friday night on SmackDown, Raquel Gonzalez went one-on-one -on -one with Charlotte Flair. But that ended in a two-on-one beatdown by DX on the Queen. And I think Stephanie is trying to bring this rivalry into her control a little bit more by hosting this match on Monday Night Raw. We have got Charlotte accompanying Beth Phoenix to the ring. We saw the reverse of this a few weeks ago when Beth Phoenix watched Charlotte Flair's back. And she did a great job of holding off D-Generation X in that one. Will Charlotte do the same here? These two titans of our sport are ready to go. The referee rings the bell, and the competitors meet in the center of the ring. Beth with her strength throwing Bianca into the corner, and really overpowering her here early. Bianca back to her feet, and a big clothesline sends Beth to the outside. Glamazon. Back up into the ring, misses her punch. And now Bianca is going for that reverse power bomb and hits it. What power there from the EST. And up to the middle rope as well. And she flies, but Beth catches her. Fantastic strength. And then a big power slam. You are not going to overpower Beth Phoenix. She is a phenomenal specimen of womanhood. 
and drops Bianca across her knee. Bianca with a spear takedown. She's gone for a cover here. Beth kicks out at the count of two. Big shots coming in from Bianca here. Neither one of these women are holding back. Bianca going for a pump handle gut buster. And now stamping down on the hand of Beth Phoenix. Looking to break her fingers, looking to break her whole hand, Dana. It's submission time as well. Beth is struggling to get to grips with Bianca here. But she does escape that one and goes for cover. But Bianca kicks out. And now Bianca has Beth up on her shoulders. The glamour's on, fighting back. Oh, and look at this. Talk about strength. Lifting Bianca up and just dropping her to the mat. But Bianca with a shot to the midsection. Finds her way back to her feet. A good clothes line on Beth. Raquel is enjoying what she is seeing so far. A big power slam from Bianca as well. Both of these women are so, so powerful. Standing flip there as well by Bianca. And now she hooks a leg. The referee though is not paying attention. And where is Bianca going? Oh, she's heading to the top turn buckle. And it's a 450 splash. And truly now this one is done. The referee is counting. Can Beth kick out? Oh, she can at the count of two and a half. Great stuff from the Glamazon. She was not ready to give this one up. The fans are firmly behind Beth Phoenix. They want to see her get a victory here over Bianca Belair. Bianca sends the Glamazon out to the ring apron. But Beth fighting back. But no, Bianca sends Beth to the floor. And Charlotte now making her way around the ring. She's got Beth's back. And she is going to make sure Raquel does not interfere in this match. Bianca heading out. But Beth throws her against the ring as Charlotte and Raquel exchange blows. It's all going off here. But at the very least, we can say this is an even fight. It's two on two. Much more than we could have said about D-Generation X and their two on one attack of Charlotte Flair on Friday night. Beth back into the ring and taking her time, waiting for Bianca. She doesn't want to get caught up in the brawl going on out there. Bianca draws Beth's head into the top turnbuckle. But Beth gets an elbow up. And oh boy, look at that move. Bianca is in a spot of trouble here. But Beth Phoenix, are you kidding me? Is going to the top turnbuckle and takes Bianca down. Big blows going in as well as Raquel goes for those steel ring steps. She's going after the queen, but the queen is fighting back. Beth looking to take Bianca out here. And Bianca has tapped. She knew she was not going to beat the Glamazon here tonight. Charlotte Flair celebrating there. She has got a little bit of revenge herself on Raquel Gonzalez on the outside. And in the ring, Beth Phoenix has taken it to Bianca Belair. She has beaten one of the best we have here in this LCW universe with an assist from the Queen, Charlotte Flair. And these two are standing tall on Monday Night Raw.